Hello everybody. This is a quick tutorial on how to hack one of these Simplex ES speakers to work with any amplifier without modifying the alarm. So I got this Simplex 49SO remote speaker, which is addressable. Um, the only way you can wire this to get the speaker working is by uh, hacking the pins right here. Um, if you wire it to the speaker terminals on the mounting plate, it will not work because there's a chip inside of this thing that detects the uh, speaker line. And if it's not a simplex speaker signal, it will not send power to the speaker and it will not work. So this is a quick tutorial on how to hack the speaker and bypass the chip on this alarm without modifying the alarm. So. It's really simple and a really easy hack that you can do. So on the alarm, there are these two wires that are hooked up to the speaker, that are to the pins on the speaker. So this is your black wire that's hooked up to the common. And then this is how you select your wattage. This is your 25 volt or 70 volt line, depending on your configuration. You'll select one of these according to your voltage. So these two wires you can unhook and just set them aside you're not going to need them just tuck them under the speaker so on your amplifier you're going to take your speaker line and get alligator clips i recommend using alligator clips so that way you can secure the wires and the clips to the pins on the speaker so this is your common which is going to be your black wire going into your common output on the amplifier and then i'm using a 25 volt line and then I'm going to be uh, using the red wire as my 25 volts. So what you're going to do is take your black wire and hook it up to common on the speaker. Now, this tutorial works on the remote speakers and also the uh, speaker strobes. And also, I believe, the ceiling speakers as well, the ceiling mount models. What you do is take your black wire to common, hook it to the common pin, and then take your 25 volts and select one of them according to the voltage. Since I have 25 volts, I believe these pins right here are for 25 volts. These ones are for 70 volt outputs. So I'm going to select E for one watt. Or you can select F. So I'm going to try F. I usually do E, but you can choose F. So this is how it is. So here, so pin. What I'm going like to do is just tuck it in so that way the pins don't touch each other and damage the speaker or mess up the speaker so then there you go very easy hack and it costs pretty much nothing you can get a pack of these on Amazon for like five bucks or depending on where you buy them you can get them very cheaply and very inexpensive so yeah very quick hack and to prove that it works, I'm going to go ahead and power the amplifier, and you'll hear the speaker pop. And there you go. Very easy hack and very simple way to get the speaker working. Have a good day, everybody.